step on it, will ya? We haven't got a moment to lose, Crash. Hmm. Huh. Huh. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Okay, ready now? Clear! <laughs> One more time, clear! I think we're losing him! One, two, clear! One, two, clear! One, two, clear! <laughs> well, that certainly was a close one, wasn't it? <sighs> Just as I thought, too much honey again. I'm sorry, fellas, it happens every time. I just can't seem to control myself, can I? <laughs> I tell myself, just have a little, a wee pawful, if you will, but then before I know it, I've had a whole jug and then another one. <laughs> I try so hard to say no, but it's so yummy. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> So, no more honey for you. That's great. Much obliged. From now on, I'm cutting way back. Uh, uh, I see you're taking the key with you. Are you sure you don't want to leave it? Yeah, I think I might have a problem. All right, now. Since our recent solution of isolating the honey from the patient proved unsuccessful, we have no choice but to isolate the patient. <laughs> from now on, the patient will follow a strict schedule. It's the only way to help him. Open this door! Ah. I'm endowed with inalienable rights! I don't know what that means, but I sure as heck am going to find out. Now you let me out of here or else... You hear me? I'm sorry. This problem calls for drastic measures. I'll give you drastic. Now open this door! Let me out! Let me out! There once was a bear named Barry who ate too much honey one day. The good doctor came, and much to his shame, he locked poor old Barry away, away. Hey, Warden! I'm starving here. Um, lunch is in an hour. Um, hmm? oh, halt! Who's there? Wally, I promised Barry I'd stop by today. Mm, got honey? No, I'm clean. Make it short. Uh -huh. The sheep has crossed over the meadow. The passageway's finished. I dug it out with a spoon. I hit it. The bear enters the cave when the moon is full. Could you be more specific? About 7.40. 7.40 p.m. Got it. And you'll be waiting in the garden? I'll be there. Thanks, Wally. Gotta go. Got some last-minute preparations. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Wally! Wally, are you there? Hmm? I'm here. Uh, Wally, I'm stuck in a hole. I, I can't get out. Just keep calm and take a deep breath. <laughs> You're safe. The coast is clear. Wait! Forgot something! <laughs> Barry, wait up. Where are you going? <laughs> Wally, I'm journeying to a distant land. A land where no door is bolted, no soul is bound, where a man may live free. Take me with you. 
Take me with you. Come with me, Wally, and we'll create a world where no man is shackled by the chains of society, where no man is imprisoned in darkness, where a guy can have as much honey as he wants, when he wants, and nobody can tell him otherwise. <laughs> Wally, I did it again. Are you okay? Oh. Barry, what is it? Oh, Wally, the honey. I think I ate too fast. Oh, the cruel hand of fate. I can't go on. Get help. This could be the end of me. Help! Help! Someone help! Emergency! Emergency! Oh, no. What's this? Why are you playing such sad music? Barry may be sick, but it's not the end. Please, now is not the time to be morbid. I beg you to lighten it up. <laughs> uh, ah, thank you so much. That's a lot better. Help! Help someone! La la, la 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 Bravo, my incomparable friend. Your singing is simply transcendent. When I listen to you, I simply forget where and who I am. It sends my soul soaring into the stratosphere. You could pour me a cup of dish soap instead of tea, and I'd be so overcome I would drink it without even noticing. Oh, thank you, my dear friend. Thanks so much. You give me too much credit. You exaggerate. Not a bit. Not at all. Your magnificent voice transports me. <laughs> and from there, the little things melt away, even if you drink soap instead of a cup of tea. But the taste, of course. <laughs> soap tastes a lot different than tea. I don't think that anyone in their right mind would drink or eat soap. <laughs> well, of course, my friend. Soap is not meant to be eaten. But there can be situations where stranger things can get into one's mouth. When you wash your face, soap can get into your mouth. It's understandable, my friend. But eating an entire bar of soap in one go... It's impossible! It's impossible? Theoretically, it is possible. Come, my dear man. Heaven forbid! Believe me, no. No one could eat an entire bar of soap. Yes. Eating a bar of soap must be unpleasant and even bad for your stomach. But it's certainly not impossible. <laughs> Here's a bar of soap. If you're able to eat it, then I'll give you my... Mm, mm, piano. I hope that you understand. I didn't do it for the piano. It's the principal. And let that be a lesson for you. I don't... I don't feel good. Def, def, definitely do not try this at home. <laughs> la 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 Oh, my grand piano, open your soul to me. We'll fly together to the place where, uh, um, um, 
where, where, where I will eat a good hare. And let your previous owner wish he were so stubborn. Oh, yeah, and learn to have faith. <sighs> <sighs> Look at you! This is outrageous! You shouldn't treat a beautiful instrument like that! You're going to destroy it! Well, I did win it fair and square, and this is how I'll play! And you should just walk away! I'm afraid I can't watch you destroy a beautiful instrument! <laughs> You should have thought about that sooner. I'm afraid it's too late now. The piano's mine, cause I ate soap. Oh, you're so accomplished eating a bar of soap. If you want to talk, you should try it first. Okay then, if I eat it, then I want my piano back. Agreed, sir. You know, you had a cup of tea. My friend, you should chew less. Don't make a beginner's mistake. Now listen to a master, my friend. La 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 my friend don't you think it's strange that because of a stupid silly challenge we both swallowed so Morning, Doco. Back from your trip? I am indeed. And I brought you souvenirs. Here you go. This is a spade handcrafted by natives. Oh. And mm. an authentic tribal potato. Thanks. Oh, what's that? That is the symbol of the native Tupaca tribe. How'd you get it? What, did you join their tribe? Of course not. One cannot join the Tupaka. No one has ever even laid eyes on them. <laughs> then why'd you hang a smiley face on your neck? It's not a smiley... This is the traditional Tupaka calendar. Why do you need a calendar? Did you forget what month it is? No, it's not like a traditional calendar. I can't read it. Even the greatest cryptographers can't decipher these glyphs. Only the Tupaca can. <laughs> hey, if you can't read it, then why are you wearing it, huh? Uh, forgive me for saying so, my friend, but the wisdom of the Tupaca is bound to fly over your head. For instance, the Topaka believe that the world is a giant mole. We live on its back as it flies through space. Ah. Do you think the world is a mole? How should I know? I am nowhere near as enlightened as they about the nature of the world. The Topaka can see into your soul, and they can even talk to spirits. Hmm. Hey, does that mean you wear it so you can talk to spirits? Oh, goodness, Barry, fine. I wore it because it made me look sophisticated, okay? It's cool and so classy. I like the sandy color. See how it offsets the tan in my fur? It is so hard to find just the right shade of brown. That bear worries me. He asks far too many questions. I'll take care of him before sunrise. <laughs> what is that racket? It's too early for this. Um, did I 
forget to put out the campfire again? Let the smoke obscure your thoughts, soothe your mind, and <laughs> drift away with the Hey, wind. did Crash put you up to this? Stop asking so many questions. Rain of peas, rain That's of peas. That's enough. I draw the line at wasting peas. Oh. How? Chief, that bear is incredible. He's immune to my magic. My strongest spells made no difference. Hmm. This I must see for myself. Hmm. 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 How? Back at ya. Ah, uh, I see a familiar light in your soul. It is bright, it is strong, and it is clear. I recognize that light. You are a kindred soul of the Tupaca. Welcome to our tribe, brother. Huh. Just don't trample the herbs. Okay, okay. You really want to know why I wear this? It isn't just that it brings up my eyes, though that is part of it. It is because I am a worldly moose. I immerse myself in other cultures. If Tupaca culture becomes popular, everyone will know that I saw it first. My interest is genuine and not part of some trend. In a world full of cheap trinkets and superficialities, I am a deep thinker, consumed by the mysteries of the universe. This is a symbol that I am not one of the unthinking masses. There is such a stigma against those of us who get it. If you don't already get it, then I can hardly explain it to you. But I tried. <sighs> I did try, Barry. <sighs> <laughs> the world's a giant mole. <gasps> Hello, my young pals. <laughs> hey, Darko. Ho, ho, ho. Open up. Coming. Barry, my unexpected friend. What a surprise. I had some other plans today, but since you decided to stop by... <laughs> Looks like you guys are ready to have some fun. <laughs> Darko, if you're busy, maybe I should come back later. You know, if this isn't a good time or whatnot. Uh, no, of course not. Why don't you come in, Barry? <laughs> Uh, 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 so, how what? are we spending New Year's, guys? <laughs> Maybe just some tea? Yeah, with honey. Great! <laughs> Let's get this party started right away. Don't worry, Perry. I can handle this. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 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 Yeah, 
Here you go, bon appetit. Suddenly, I'm not so hungry. <laughs> Why don't we play checkers instead? Huh? Checkers? <clears throat> On New Year's Eve? How old are you guys again? That's not nice. I'll have you know, checkers is one of the best sports. So you're into sports, huh? Why didn't you say so? I, I don't like sports. where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> You've got some glasses on Doesn't mean all hope is gone You can still feel young Feel young Just say no to naps and tea Take all this advice from me You can still be young Be young Old man, old man Don't let life just pass on by Gotta stay young Old man, old man Don't let itch keep you down Stay young All these sports should not be Right? Well, my young friends, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. This isn't exactly what I had planned. I was thinking of a quiet, cozy New Year's Eve. You're not alone, my friend. I think I'll be leaving. Oh, really? Going so soon? <laughs> Don't mean to insult you, but that crazy-tailed friend of yours... My friend? I've never met her in my entire life! But you told me about having company over, didn't you? Huh? A book, Barry. I plan to spend the evening alone with a book, reading. Uh. But I... I don't understand. I really thought this entire time that she was a friend of yours. <laughs> okay, which one of you did this to me? Huh? Old man, old man, don't let life just pass on by. You gotta stay sound. It needs pizza. Old man, old man, don't let age keep you down. It sure is a challenge for the teams to play their best on such a swampy field. But there's still time for a comeback, and the ref may add a few minutes. So our guys could still score some goals. Yes, our boys have intercepted the ball midfield. It's a beautiful chance to score. There's an opening. Uh, our two uh, are go, 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 just what the honey is going on here? Just what is going on here? Our team needs to act fast to come out ahead. Our defenders have the ball again. Pass to Vasilyev. This is the last attack. There isn't time to roll the ball around like this. Pass to the penalty area. Oh, what are you doing? Come on, come on, let's go, 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 go. You can do it. I know you can. Oh, break through the flank, break through the flank. Do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Who taught you goobers how to play soccer? Just get your act together! If you really expect to win, you have to want it bad enough!
Oh, they want to win, but they'll never pull it off. Their tactics are fundamentally flawed. Huh? Tactics, schmacktics. Wanting is more important. <laughs> My Ursine friend, it is clear that you do not understand this in the slightest. Great planning and tactics determine every outcome. It isn't me who doesn't understand it. It's a battle of wills. It all comes down to who most wants it. The winner's whoever's got the stronger mindset. No, it's whoever has superior tactics. Mindset. Tactics. Wanna bet? You're on. How will we prove that I'm the one who's right? We'll organize an experimental soccer match. Whoever wins the match wins the bet. We'll play according to the tactics I call the Bermuda Triangle. It's quite a simple concept. When confronting the opponent, we give them the entire field. And just like that, they're lost in it and disappear like in the Bermuda Triangle. See? And we score a goal. Is that clear? We'll just take it again. Once more from the top. <laughs> They got stupid formulas and tactics and plans and all that dumb junk. The born winners got their head in the game. They go out there and refuse to accept anything but total and complete victory. Any other outcome is completely unthinkable. <laughs> Time to get tuned in. Get the fire in your eyes. Get that thirst for victory. <laughs> Show me more. Show me everything. And line up on the diagonal! Diagonal! <laughs> diagonal! <laughs> diagonal! <laughs> other team sees a unified opponent with the right mindset coming at them, they're so flustered they score on themselves. But don't relax, they're still the second half.
All right, the fire in your eyes, the thirst in your belly, and victory at any cost. Get out there and show them what's possible with the proper mindset. Let's try something new. We'll switch to a tactic that I call the canal. We'll dampen our opponent's attack waves around the entire field perimeter. Then we can block and flood all of the locks and wash the other team away. The fire! The thirst! Mindset! <laughs> Remember the tactics and pass the ball to Chico. <laughs> Come on, use the tactics. I worked hard on them. Come on, just pass the ball to Chico. <laughs> It's all about tactics. Like I said, pass the ball to Chico. Tactics! On my team, are you really gonna give him a penalty shot? You really should have gone with a more qualified and less blind referee. Never have a fair match with her on the field. <laughs> we can't win without the right mindset. If you can't find the fire, and if you don't find the thirst, there's just no way we can win. <laughs> Not a single one of you watching enough. Oh, you bunch of pacifists. <laughs> There's a sail on, big one. Huh? Hmm? Uh, 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 we've got a substitute we're gonna put into play. Well then, so do we. Kick and kick. All right, all right. And like that. Hmm. Seems to be a window over there, so I'll be kicking the ball now. Coming through. Uh, 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 that doesn't seem fair at all. Charge, everybody! Run over them! Victory's within reach! Reach out and snatch it! Uh, ah, uh, this is how it's done! I fire, belly, thirst, mindset, mindset! Feet of flame, loins girded, heart pounding! Uh, 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 uh,
a little on-the-field analysis, and the perfect strategy becomes clear. This is real oh. soccer, baby! Hmm, a Come on, kids, make me proud! Get those feet in gear! Run that field! Come on, run it! You can do it, you little, you little, you little! You little, you little. You this is serious league of champions play here! That's exactly the way to play soccer! Yes, exactly that! Perfect plan! So, now do you understand the right way to play? With the right mindset, you can move mountains. Oh, with thirsty eyes, and your tummy on fire. And do you understand that carefully chosen tactics can make or break a match? Oh. Hey, um, players, come back. The match isn't over. There's three minutes left. We already got what we were after. We're done. Let's just call it a tie. No. Oh. Huh? Woo! <laughs> 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 Aren't you scared? <gasps> no way! It's just... It's just... So exhilarating! I can't even explain it! It feels amazing! You feel like a dandelion fluff floating down to Earth! You really have to try it to see for yourself! <laughs> That's not gonna happen! Floating dandelion fluff sounds peaceful and all, but... Uh, that did... <sighs> No, it's not gonna happen. No one wants a bear falling out of the sky, do they? Piece of dandelion fluff falling on your head is one thing, but a giant bear? That's a different story. <gasps> it's not like that. You come down slowly. The parachute keeps it nice and smooth. Like when you jump off a stool. But when you jump off a stool, it's over all at once. With the parachute, you get a whole minute of joy. Can you imagine? A minute you'll never forget as long as you live. I want to forget about it now. Remember to wait for my command? Uh-huh. And then you're gonna jump right after that! Uh-huh. Uh, I got it. Count to three, then pull the uh -huh. ring hard. Uh -huh. I got it. And once the parachute opens up, uh -huh. sit back uh -huh. for the best minute of your life. Oh, uh, minute? Just lend like you're jumping off a fence. Uh -huh. And be sure to keep your legs bent. Keep them bent. You're in luck today. You're gonna get a lot of lift. What does that mean? You'll maybe stay up for a whole three minutes. Uh, okay. Now, jump! Ah! 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 <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> You're doing it! Do it! Look Do it. good! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! <laughs> oh, yeah! Look out below! Air fluff coming in for a landing! <laughs> <laughs> uh. What the? Barry, what are you doing? <laughs> he got caught in a strong air current. We have to stop worry. him! Hold on! We're gonna get you, pal! What do I do? How do I stop it? You'll be okay. You'll be okay. The wind's blowing you up. But don't worry. It'll die down. And then you'll land.
<laughs> you gotta help me. Please get me down. I don't want to be dandelion fluff anymore. I just had an idea. No! Let's do this! I don't get why we could land, and he's still staying up, right? Somehow he keeps catching those great air currents. I wish I could stay up there like that. Oh, oh make it stop. Oh. Somebody help me. I can't get it to slow down. Chico, you can't fly away too. Hanging around. Hanging around. Hanging around. Hanging around. Didn't we tell you the air currents would die down? <laughs> That's right! Can you imagine it? All day long and he didn't have to do anything! Lucky! I wish I could do that! Just fly all day! What a dream! What a gift! I just wish I had the receipt! That's one gift I'd like to return! Where's the field? <laughs> this is more like a thicket. Where are we going to play soccer? I think we need to ask Barry. <laughs> Barry, what are you doing? Hmm? Oh, fellas. What is Barry Allais? I've been thinking that it's necessary to make something important in life for history. So I decided to create an allay so that future generations will remember me with gratitude. It's also going to be beautiful and will provide shade when it's hot. Yeah, yeah, that's great, but why is it called Barry Allay? Hmm. What do you mean, why? For history. Hmm. Well, that's going to be great for the history of Barry. Future generations will thank you and won't even remember us, your best friends. Huh? Is that what you want, Barry? Yeah. That is unfair. Hmm. Here, everybody has to have a chance to make history. Hmm. Uh, oh, boys, what have you done? What? We done? Now our names are monumenta. Monia. Monumutilized. Huh? You mutilized the trees. That's what you've done. Why did Ooh. I give you the paint? Uh, so we would make history? So you would whitewash the trunks. And what have you done? Get everything back to the way it was. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Carlin, how do you become history? Don't show up for work. <laughs> no, I'm talking about something else. About eternal fame. You see, Carlin, Barry made in L.A. A walk of fame? Mm, how interesting. Barry L.A. Well, well, quite curious. Bravo, my friend! Oh, he wants to take the whole uh, place in history for himself. Great thinking! And L.A. Uh, what a bright idea! Do you really like it? Certainly. But I'm afraid you don't have a plan. Mm, uh, wait, it can't be done without uh, one? By no means, my friend. Everything must be according to plan, and I know how to do it. Eh, 
And in this way, we'll create a formal park a la Francais with a view of the river. We've already got the machinery. <laughs> <laughs> and have you made provisions for a playground? <laughs> Where will our youth play sports? No. <laughs> uh, yeah. Stay out of the way, please. Mm -hmm. Crash, Chico, stay out of the way. Please stay out of the way. <laughs> hmm. At this rate, they're going to own all of history. <laughs> then there'll be nothing left for us. Mm -hmm. We have to figure something out, Chico. We have to figure something out. We have to figure something out. What? Look, everything got done without us. Uh, Wally, what are you doing here? Uh, me? I'm responsible for the artistic design. Huh? Let's get out of here, Crash. There's nothing here for us to do. Oh! <sighs> Chico, I think I've got an awesome idea. <laughs> <laughs> what a great idea. Well done, yes. boys. It's a brilliant well idea. Done. What an awesome idea. That was a very good idea. I would even dare to say a uh, classy idea. You well, know what I mean? It wasn't that brilliant of an idea, you guys. It won't fit. Crash and Chico what? won't fit. That's it. There's not even room for one little word. Hmm. What an awkward situation. Oh, let's do it this way. Let's call it our alley. Then everybody will think that it was named in their honor. It's a super cool idea. Yes, a very good idea. It's over already? That's too bad. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Woo! <laughs> I had so much fun here, I should be good till the next holiday. <laughs> when is the next holiday? The next holiday is in... exactly 37 days. 37 actual days? In a row? 37 long, ordinary days from today? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, in the meantime, we could celebrate some other less well-known holiday. Like, like what? what? What's going on? Hey there, Barry! Can you believe it? Corlin has just found out that today is Baratuma! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think it's a really important holiday somewhere in Paraguay! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Barry, do you want to dance? Or maybe you want a lemonade or some tea. Thanks, guys, but I'd rather play hide and seek with Doco. Ain't that a stinger? Uh, oh, sorry, Doco. <laughs> well, I'll be. Rats. Baratumba. Stupid. Ah, <laughs> how are you doing, guys? Oh, happy holiday. <laughs> what holiday is that? What holiday? Well, today is the well-known, uh, um, uh, Carolyn About Nonsense Day. Why, yes, of course! How could I have forgotten Caroling About Nonsense Day? The greatest holiday from all Lower and Upper Africa. <laughs> Party! Oh, come on, baby, you can dig later. coming up anytime soon. Yeah, it's too bad all the holidays are over, hmm? But what do we do now? We'll just have to wait until the next holiday comes along. Actually, we don't have to wait after all. <laughs> huh? Huh? It turns out that it's been 37 days already. <gasps> Get ready, because the next holiday is... Wait, I didn't mean to. Carlin, buddy, thank you. The entire agricultural industry thanks you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank uh, you. Uh, thank you, uh, and finally, uh, thank you. The vortex coming up the coast is going to give us a little light cloud cover and with some occasional showers, which of course will be good news for horticulturalists and vegetable patches. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, horse tourists and girdlers. No, no. Horticulturists and gardeners. <laughs> oh boy, did that get away from me. Elsewhere, we're going to be feeling a little light winds and maybe carrying a little pollen from that storm for you allergy sufferers. But otherwise, you can expect plenty of sunny skies in perfect conditions. So, Professor, you're telling me that harvests from vegetable patches will contain more vitamins and minerals if the cultivated plants are kept safe and separate from those pervasive, savage little weeds? What is that? Oh, brother, I'm growing a vegetable patch here, not a flower garden. Absolutely right. And what is a weed? Populus vita? It's a plant. 
wild. A corruption in every respect. Ah, oh, Professor, how right you are. Ah, oh, now isn't that beautiful? Chico, would you rather have a few carrots right this very moment or be in a good mood for the remainder of the summer? What would you choose? That's easy. I'd choose the good mood, of course. It's been decided. Chico has refused his portion of the carrot yield and gifts them to his best friend, Crash. And would you rather have a few apples or... <laughs> Apples, lots of them. Oh. 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 Hey, Barry, why would you plant the entire garden with flowers? What are we supposed to eat now? It's not me, I promise. It's the weeds. Ivy's eating up the whole, the whole crop. Oh. Okay, weeds. Watch out. There will be a reckoning for the crop you stole. <laughs> now it's time for weightlifting exercises. Pick up your weights. Up, down, up, down. Remember to breathe. Your arms are light, yes? One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. This concludes our daily exercise. What if they're not weeds at all? but some special kind of crop. We could be rich! And what if it's poisonous? <laughs> oh, 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 yep, I'll be right back! Let's run! <laughs> of course it's poison. It's Ivy. We're continuing our broadcast with music by request. It's a solution of my own design. It's harmless for cultivated plants, but these unruly weeds won't be able to stand it. Barry, watch where you're spraying. The solution is harmless for cultivated plants. It only affects unruly pests. Uh, uh, somebody help me. <laughs> See, the weeds are only continuing to spread, growing stronger, more impudent, in a word, uncultivated. There's a theory that we're all doomed to return to a primal state. Oh, it's back. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. Whoa, whoa. It's so windy up here. Take shot on our airwaves. They're being inflated. Oh, Barry, help! Huh? Huh? Chico? Chico! Let go! Let go, you uncultivated! Very. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm climbing. Here I come. I'm coming, Chico. Especially for the farmers. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Our broadcast. No, oh. it's the apotheosis. Oh. Chico, Barry, where are you going? We really need to get down somehow. I won't allow it. Come back, guys. You're in trouble. What? Oh, your house. Oh. Your wheelbarrow. Oh, the the harvest. harvest. Receives the pass and slips to the left. To the right. He's unstoppable as he... Touchdown! <laughs> the seeds of that weed are kind of good. They're tasty. Oh, yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll just... Uh, go. Uh, 